My name is Abtamarem. Uh, I actually coordinate the activities of C4 research in Ethiopia and in Eastern Africa, actually. Uh, we are trying to better understand the relationship between people and foresters and examine existing policies and generate evidence that would help policymakers to make um, decisions that actually matter for people and foresters in the region. Our activities have generally focused on promoting the importance of dry foresters in Ethiopia because they are the most important forest types in the country. They are also the sources of the gums and resins that the country exports. And they also represent areas where rapid land use change in terms of forest is, uh, is, uh, is going on. So we are undertaking research in partnership with universities, the national research institutions, uh, and we publish jointly. We produce policy papers as well as organize workshops to disseminate results. Uh, so far we have a very cordial relationship, working relationship with the government of Ethiopia, uh, which is testified by you know, our contribution to the development of forest policy and proclamation in 2007. And uh, this continuous engagement has led to fruitful conclusions that recently the new Ministry of Forestry and Environment has been established. The special request from the government is to help them develop a roadmap in terms of translating the forestry sector target set in the green economy strategy of the government issued in 2011. So our, our current activities focus on looking at different forest management practices, identifying effective ones, assessing their impacts for people as well as for the landscape, and looking at opportunities and challenges to scaling them up at a national level. By so doing, we are going to help the government have a national roadmap to develop the forestry sector as they are building you know, a green economy which aims at making the country carbon neutral by 2025. The results and you know, experiences that we gain will also be very, very useful for countries in the region. Our research are showing that one is we have very limited understanding of the people and forest relationship in the country. There are some uh, contradictory policy signals that relate to investment in forest management, for example. And the forestry sector is completely, you know, poorly governed within the structure. So we hope that the new ministry will, will pick up those issues and will provide the strategic leadership to, to actually draft the development of a new forestry strategy in the country, which is you know, very, very, very important for the development of a green economy, but also very rewarding to communities and the private sector involved in the trade. So we will be looking at, um, you know, the massive tree planting initiatives that the government is engaged. We are uh, currently undertaking a study on how to improve the efficiency of this tree planting, both by smallholders, but also by the state. So assessment on the tree planting, how this tree planting could be you know, carefully planned and its efficiency and sustainability from both economics as well as ecological point of view could be looked at it. We are also generating some information for the government to show them how the forestry sector is contributing to both urban and rural employment in terms of small enterprises, for example. So we, we have a, a couple of issues that we have identified that we are going to continue with engaging the government, but also there are some specific issues that we like to address. One, one, one being the whole issue of looking at how forest and forest management is influenced by the rapid urbanization and expansion of infrastructure, but also Ethiopia being one of the labor exporting countries, would like to look at remittances and how they actually influence people's dependence on foresters as well as investment on the landscape through plantation. So these are the areas we'd like to, to explore further. Okay. Yeah, the, re the research that needs to be done, especially, is to look at how the current forest management practices need to be looked at so that forests could be managed for multiple outputs, for carbon, 
for timber, for charcoal, for livestock, for feed, for biodiversity conservation. On that regard, our knowledge is very limited, especially when it comes to the dry forests. These are forests that are actually home for about you know, 13, 14 million Ethiopians, but also you know, that host the largest livestock concentration in the country. So we need to have a different way of managing forests where people are there, where livestock are there, where conservation and economic goals must be maximized. So the research on the whole having forests at the landscape level, interacting with different sectors, interacting with agriculture, interacting with livestock is very important. And I think we need, we need to be looking at those ones. And this in relation to rapidly changing demographic and climate you know, variables coming up into, into, into the equation. So you have got uh, you know, huge private sector investment coming into the forest. You have carbon interest, you have community interest, you have state interest as well. All this needs to be negotiated. And we must make sure that the role of the state, the role of the community, the role of the private sector in managing the trade-offs between conservation and development is very well you know, carefully researched.